All right, what's up, Paul Squad? This your man, Taurus Hot, back in the tube. Welcome back to another week of those of Hotbanger reactions. So happy Friday, y'all. Yeah, and yes, I have another weekly dose of Hotbanger reactions. New clean slate. I finally got a chance to do a new clean slate Hotbanger reactions today because last week I was a little behind, of course, because I had a lot of college work to get done, and I just got so damn tired. It's like, oh, it's exhausting. So. I want to get a chance to get, get them done before today. Thank God. I got all of the last two homemade reactions. Most of them, you know, of course, I, did, I uploaded them earlier this week. And one, the last of them, the last of them, I did them yesterday. So, here we are, Hot Squad. New Clean Slate homemade reactions that I'm so excited to get through this week. Because, honestly, I would say this month, July, has been the most... I would say the most I dropped for Hotbanger reactions by far, really by far. It's crazy because I have so much reactions to get through. It's crazy. So, yeah, I'm definitely down for it. Absolutely. So, Hot Squad, going back to my new Clean Slate Hotbanger reactions, if you've seen my post. But if you've not seen my post, here's the going drop. So, it is now recap time first, of course, first of all. And it's Blade Boss recap by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this one's called, How the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nearly Became Only Children to Shredder. So, of course, it's the 2014 version, the live action version with Megan Fox. So, I've seen it before, you know. It's hard to believe the guy came out 10 years ago. That that was a, that was an oddly uh, interesting movie, I would say. Oddly interesting. And I've seen the sequel out, The Shadows. I mean, it's like, I mean, look, they're not masterpieces, but it is like turning your brain off type stuff, right? So, yeah. My Michael Bay actually produced both, actually, which makes it funnier. So, um, overall, yeah, I'm excited to see his recap because I think I saw Ku Uno Nas recap of TMNT before, so nice to see Blake Boy's take on this. So, all this quote we're do, we're going to start off today on Friday with Blake Boy's recap right here, right now of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm so excited to get through this entire day of Hulk Banger reactions for y'all. Thank y'all so much throughout this entire year, by the way. I got to give thanks to y'all who subscribed to me ever since, you know, I started these reactions for two years in a row. So, it, it's been crazy. It's, you know, it's been a little successful back then, but I'm getting more and more subscribers open up. So, I'm always to the goal to 500 subscribers so I am eligible to join the YouTube partner program so yes let's get it Hot Squad let's get it this year let's get it in this year reach that goal so Hot Squad refer to do Blade Boys recap a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles starting right now let's check it out hit it hit it hit it hit it get it get it get it get it so Shredder and his goons pull up on Splinter and the turtles in the sewers. Being an NYC resident myself, I know they had to bypass the National Guard in the subway with <laughs> AKs. I don't know who they protected us from. Killer Croc better watch out. <laughs> At least 14 crackheads and a dozen Hispanic <laughs> ladies with ICs. But Master Splinter is prepared. He's a rat, always ready to get to the cheddar. Hit them with the aura pose. Yep. Look at him. He done went so crazy, they're too stunned to even move. And you know what? Maybe it was a good idea for them to just keep doing Stevie Wonder's wildest dreams and stare. <laughs> they started to fight back. Oui. Punk got straight to work, hitting them with straight. What y'all youngins know about this? <laughs> One of the craziest things to me is how Master Splinter is really self-taught too. I tried to teach myself how to do tattoos. <laughs> and told my homie I got him with this Kobe tattoo. Hell hell no. Giving him fucking Maurice Chestnut instead. <laughs> hell the other no. turtles are handling business too. Mikey hitting these boys with the three-piece combo. Donnie, Raph, and Leo doing their job as well, putting all these NPCs in their place. <laughs> Every last one of them in black because they're unplayable characters. Oh, damn. We go back to Splinter and oh my lord, he's going insane. But I'm going to have to slow it down so y'all can really catch what's happening. He smacks one, leave, left, backhand, into a kick. Two more start to jump in, treating him like a snitch just because he's a rat. <laughs> Dudes be like, nah, uh, my lawyer demon. <laughs> so he throws them to the ground, trips, and hits this man with that freezer treatment, choking him with his tail, mm. legs dangling. Into a slam and just starts unloading the clip into him. This is a mm. murder, bro. Damn. But Splinter was cooking a little too much. Nigga, you not Ratatouille. <laughs> so Shredder had to pull up on him and put an end to all the shenanigans. Be a good rat and I'll give you some cheese. <laughs> that ass? <laughs> you that ass? You hungry, huh? This. Don't blame you. You're living in a sewer. Must be tired of eating dirty diapers for dinner. <laughs> Man, fuck you. I would have rubbed it against your soup. Cheese beater ass, nigga. <laughs> Splinter knows he can't swing punches on Shredder in that. Or also end up with SpongeBob SquarePants fingers. <laughs> so he runs over, picking up his sword, emoting on him. And Shredder is just looking like... Ugh. <laughs> 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 He starts flexing on him, showing off that he got not one, not two, but rod wave calorie consumption worth of swords. I still have not seen that no guy's music video yet. But Master Splinter's not impressed. Bro so unbothered, Shredder starts running in and he's not even looking at the man. 
My man, you got eyes. Use them. <laughs> Why give yourself a disadvantage? Just like bringing French Montana on as a feature. <laughs> as he blocks all four attacks with ease and kicks better away. We can't see his face, but based on the slow head turn, I know he just like... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Splinter flips and gets blocked, but lands a kick instead of turning around, goes for a no look, Damn. getting his sword knocked away and puts him on all fours. Shredder's getting cooked and running out of ideas, so he starts breakdancing like he a job walking, <clears throat> hitting the knee spin, shooting off knives that Splinter is able to flip out the way and dodge all of them. Got Shredder looking like Draymond Green on a good day. Splinter <laughs> then goes for a roundhouse kick, but Shredder is able to grab his tail and throws him at the wall. But he's stuck to that hole like Spider-Man. <laughs> a rat Spider-Man movie? That could be type fire. Mm -hmm. Directed by Candace Flynn too? He <laughs> don't just go around NYC like... Oh, he's stealing! He's stealing! I <laughs> nah. Splinter goes smacking him with his tail as Shredder continues to show why he can give the crackhead Michael Jackson a run for his <laughs> money with this clean recovery and goes to throw too many knives for Mike Tyson to count. But it's all in vain like Fred trying to make a comeback in 2024. Oh God. Let it go bro. Yeah. It's over. Because they're all- Whatever happened to this dude Fred? Whatever happened to him man? Misses as he lands and hits the Michael Jackson. <laughs> but Shredder decide to turn this negative into a positive. Kanye would be so proud. My man used gum wrappers as his new teeth. Oh, so he starts yeah, attracting yeah, the that. knives back using magnets as Splinter starts moving like Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> of course, topping it off with a more than necessary superhero <laughs> landing. But the fight choreographer needs to be studied because they are well and truly in their bag on this one. Splinter goes for a kick <laughs> and misses. But before he could even turn back around, he grabs Shredder with his tail and flips <laughs> the opposite way to throw his ass to the side. Yeah, give them choreographers a round of applause. And give the design team one too. I remember dudes was out here complaining that the turtles were ugly. They are mutant Right. I don't know what y'all was expecting them to look like. Right. Could be Jordan? Right. Be I mean, the other Vashon turtles, what else y'all expected them to do? To call Gigi on Shredder, but they stay struggling for a while until Shredder reverses it, slamming him right on his back. I know the wind is knocked out of him, and Leo must have heard Splinter giving his Uncle Iroh ass speech before dying, because he tries to run over to help and starts getting electrocuted to pieces. Got bro skipping frames like Mr. Crocker. Shredder runs up and knees Splinter, then throws him back on the stage. And at this point, it's looking like it's over for Splinter. Niggas from Thailand finna serve you up with some ketchup when I'm done with you. Going all hope looks lost. Coming up clutch like Kobe in the fourth quarter, April stabs Shredder in the back. Splinter gets back up and he's like, bitch, you saying you're moving? Yes. <laughs> out of the fight. And all the turtles start running in to go help Splinter, but he closes the gate on them, so they have no choice but to watch from outside. This nigga's a demon, get out of here. And if you just take a moment to peep Leo's face, I haven't seen more like this since other Twitch streamers found out Kai spontaneously going live tonight. Shredder jumps over and grabs Splinter, slamming him on his back. And look at the expression on the turtles' faces. Whatever's going on in there has to be something absolutely diabolical for them to be reacting like this. And bro, it was. Shredder throws Splinter up and hits him with a filthy hey. right to the face. And they're doing keepy ups with this man's body. The turtles are able to make their way in and Shredder starts holding him up like a coat rack. But if y'all notice, only Leo, Donnie, and Mikey are here. Raph is nowhere to be found. Where's your brother? Where's Russell Westbrook? Put <laughs> on your weapons now when your dad gets to live. And even though they literally complied, he still electrocuted they ass. Punches Splinter mad hard mm. and after all that bullying, throws him to the side like trash. Shit is crazy, man. <laughs> Try to move in like the police. <laughs> hey, listen. Say it was you, and I'll make sure you get off real easy. Meanwhile, they writing up that max contract for you to be somebody's boyfriend in prison right now. <laughs> so the turtles get kidnapped. But remember, Ralph was knocked out somewhere yep. else and was never found. <laughs> so he wakes up, pulls up to save them, and instead no. runs into Shredder off rip. And this had me hype in the theater because I remember being Blank Baby watching the cartoon and knew he was my goat ever since this moment right here. This is some nice steel. How about telling me who gave them to you? Yo mama. Rapper's <laughs> been choked, got him moonwalking. Um, did Alan Richardson did the most catcher for Raphael? If you don't know him, he played Reacher, if I'm correct. Getting slammed into the roof onto a shelf. 
But my boy out here rocking the Believe It goggles, so we know he not about to quit. Goes to get back up and oh, nah. <laughs> Why he posing like that? Not even giving this man the faith of eyesight. <laughs> Rap got so tight he punched this rock for no reason. <laughs> you know, his hand hurt and just gets put into a blender right here. Going 0 for 5, getting blocked and kicked into a mm. Beyblade. And look how this man just stands over him. I don't know why bro hitting these like he ain't the one that put in there. And as if Shredder couldn't be any more of a demon. I had a shell of a time. And knocks his <laughs> ass out. Damn. Of course though, April's stupid ass making mad noise up there. And before Raf could even think about helping, he was already put to sleep again. <laughs> Damn. But at least this is able to buy her enough time to free the other brothers. Donnie in there looking like a Super Smash Bros. demon distracting <laughs> her on what to do while Raph is getting his back blown out. And when Shredder's <laughs> done, he just leaves him there. Gonna have that man Raph sounding like a side chick in the morning. <laughs> so you think you could just eat my pussy and never call me again, Arthur? You dead serious son? Uh, the, the turtles <laughs> manage to escape and Shredder sets up his diabolical machine on the tallest skyscraper. Yeah, the background noise. Here's her. Meanwhile, <laughs> the quiet is before the storm because once they arrive, it did not take long for Shredder at all to run over and sleep Raph, Donnie, and Mikey, mm. leaving Leo in an ISO 1v1 situation versus Shredder. I'm already knowing he got that Drake yeah. guarding KD look on his face because this man gets caught in midair and slammed, stomped on, avoids mm. two more hits. But then Shredder is like, man, screw it. <laughs> Unless this new DLC drop, turtles can't fly. Grabbing and throwing Leo by his shell through mad Damn. metal, and he's able to hold on for their life narrowly. Black Widow cannot relate. Damn. He can back up and Mike is talking shit while struggling to get up. I know Shredder's like, you always talk too much. But Raph and Mikey still aren't ready to box real, so it's Donatello who gets up for the ones. And Shredder is such an asshole. <laughs> this man makes a bow staff of his own just to beat him with his own weapon. I'm crying, bro. That takes another no. level of ego. I couldn't imagine being in a battle versus Jinxie and he whips out his signature yelling. <laughs> Track I don't hard. stand a chance. They start going stick for stick, but it takes Shredder five seconds to send this man sliding no, off mm. the building. Mikey sees this and he tries to get back for his bro, but we know he's a little chromosome deprived. Yes. So when my man started spinning and screaming for no reason, I was like, oh yeah, they done got Lenny from Of Mice of Men to play Damn. This is perfect casting. <laughs> Damn. Shredder dismantles him in two seconds and takes his nunchucks. So while Raphael is sprinting in, I knew it was over. GG's. Shredder makes him hit the Kaepernick, smacks mm. him, and then trips Raph, and there's no more fighting the allegations now. Killian Mbappe is a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Shredder then walks to the edge, sees that they're here, cuts Donnie off, but luckily Leo catches him. Luckily for the turtles though, he's not able to stay, cause he gotta go check and see if any talented YouTubers dropped. But unfortunately none did, only King Sid posted today. Raph <laughs> throws Donnie and Leo up there. And let me slow it down for y'all like I'm going through a third grade reading level book with Floyd Mayweather. Shredder blocks both attacks at the same time, then smacks them both, kicking Leo in the face and flips for no reason. Nigga hmm. so cold, he can't even just step to the side anymore. Shredder goes in for a GG, but last minute, Raph comes in to save Leo from becoming third world country meat. And all of this really just shows how different Splinter is. Bro was tearing up Shredder and that suit of forks taped together. Hmm. Raph goes for a right but gets one shotted, and Leo gets flipped into the air, landing on his ribcage. I ain't gonna lie, the turtles get cooked. But Leo still gets back up and gets his katana slammed on, managing to weave his first kick but gets caught with the second one, getting laid out like the rest. They're all out of ideas, so they remember a game they used to play back when they were little and use it against him. This power of friendship ass attack. Let's use Buck Buck. He's spitting. That nigga don't know how to play. And then Leo agrees to get on board with his brothers using Buck Buck. So they're all in unison with Leo leading. As his slash gets blocked and he immediately just hits the Luffy afterwards. <laughs> Mikey follows it up by taking his dirty ass sewer shoes that he probably found in the garbage to hop on Leo and kick Shredder in the face. Donnie next whips out a calculator and measures up the trajectory of his flip right here and uses his staff to trip Shredder. And lastly it's Raph who runs on all of them and delivers the final kick to knock his ass <laughs> off the building entirely. Cowabunga. All right, wow, this was a Larry's recap, man. Larry's recap. It's been so long I've seen the movie, the 2014 TMNT. It's been a while. So, yeah, this was a pretty damn good recap. I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> this, the comparison. <laughs>
<laughs> that bat widow can't can't relate um bit had me laugh my butt off man like damn <laughs> it's so this is it's so freaking dirty so dirty man but i love it it's hilarious man but anywho another w banger recap Bang boy keep up the great work man keep up the great work so hot squad that is my conclusion of my reaction to blake boyd's recap of teenage Ninja turtles so if george is please hit up on the couch share your thoughts how old is you when you, you watch 2014 tmnt movie have you seen the sequel do you think the, the sequel is better than the the last one, and honestly, at most points, yeah, it is, but it's it's okay. It, it's a it's a okay turn your brain off type movie, most likely, or both of them really. So yeah, overall, W recap, baby boy, keep it a great work. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Hot Banger recap marathon continuing with Cool Owner Nine's recap of Avengers: Age of Ultron. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.